Hello, my name is Roland from PMI JCM Realty Group, where we manage properties from an asset management perspective. And in that light, we're going to have a good discussion today because we're going to be talking about five secrets to increase your rental properties value on a budget. As real estate investors, we are always looking for ways to increase value, right? Particularly of our, on, of our properties, because the, you know, the more value we get, the more return and investment we get when we finally sell our properties. But it's not easy, it's not always easy to understand what we can do to add value to our property. And then we want to make sure that we control the cost of whatever work that we do so that it doesn't become cost prohibitive, right? Because if we do a $10,000 upgrade that increases the value by only $1,000, you know, then we're going to be losing money at the end of the day. And we definitely don't want to do that, right? So <clears throat> what I'm going to do today is give you five industry secrets um, that's going to help you with increasing your the value of your property right and these are secret yeah you know maybe not so secret if you are in the industry you probably know them if you're not in the industry and you're kind of new so this may shed some light and even if you're experienced some of these um, tips may um, be eye-opening for you as well right so um, at the end of the day, the key is to try to increase the value without breaking the bank. And this is what we're going to try to highlight and discuss today. So the first tip that I'm going to give you is, you know, have an open floor plan. You know, this is a great idea, particularly in modern times. You know, this trend may change at some point in the future, but the younger generation and the people who are looking for homes now like an open concept type of floor plan, right? But how do you do that, right, in your home? Um, how do you, <clears throat> particularly if it's a smaller home, right? Maybe sometimes you think about adding a bedroom or a bathroom to increase the value. Sometimes it's as easy as knocking a wall, right? So instead of buying all of the materials and, you know, building out that new bathroom, knocking down the wall, making it an open concept, maybe a more cost effective option for you than having to go do that build out right so whenever you're thinking about increasing value of the home particularly if it's just for um evaluation try open concept and see if that helps in increasing the value um, for your home as opposed to adding a bedroom um, or a bathroom um, the next tip that i want to give you is add double vanity sinks right two is better than one um, and if you put, you know, double vanity sink, particularly in the master bathroom, you kind of have a his and hers, and that can add value to your property as well, right? So think about how that can be done. Um, and if it can, you know, you can execute that and definitely put yourself in a position to get more value for your property just by doing the simple task of adding additional sink in the property, particularly if you have a large family um, and swapping that single sink out for a double sink is definitely something that will help out. The third tip is, um, you know, looking at your cabinet hardware styles. Now, you know, you have I mean, a cabinet refacing um, that you can do, um, but the reality is cabinetry and countertops are very important. And the right cabinetry can add a great deal of value in the home, even if the cabinetry is not super expensive, but it's stylish and it looks nice. Um, so look at, you know, different options that you can do to add value in the home by updating your cabinetry without having to change out the cabinets all together. That's a great way to add value to a home on a budget. Then you may want to think about going green where you can, right? In some instances, um, you know, putting the solar panels on the roof can be um, free. Um, particularly with the tax credits that they give. So look into that, um, putting smart thermostats and things like that in the home, anywhere, uh, putting a, a, a fuel efficient um, hot water heater, right? Now, when you think about it on the surface, you know, putting in a hot water heater may not be inexpensive, um, but if you can get a you know, certain program from the city and state to pay for it, sometimes that's a possibility, but overall, just going green wherever you can can definitely help with that. Um, now, um, the last one is curb appeal, right? And your curb appeal does not have to 
cost a fortune, right? Right now I have a property that was getting all types of um, angry letters from the HOA because um, you know the tenants weren't keeping the the, um, the grass the way they liked, and so I hired a um, landscaping company to go out there and cut the grass twice a month, and also maintain the shrubs um, and everything. And it's only cost it's costing about forty dollars um, every two weeks. And so I mean, this is in in Florida, and you know, I mean, I've worked with the contractor before and that's not going to be the case everywhere but the point i'm trying to make is you can make your landscaping and your um, gardening look good without having to break the bank and that can definitely add a great deal of value um, to your home because the first thing people see when they drive by is how it looks in the front and even if you have pictures that you're posting online to market your property you're going to have pictures of the front and that's part of what sells the property in my mind the three areas of the home that uh, that sell the property. Um, it's the bathroom, it's the kitchen, and it is your landscaping outside, right? Um, those three areas sell your property more than any other parts of your home. Um, so keep those things in mind um, when you're trying to um, increase the value of your home. Um, and another thing you need to keep in mind as well is um, opportunities for JV partnerships to get these type of things completed. Sometimes you don't have the money to, to, to pay out of pocket to do the work, right? And you don't want to impact your, um, your cash flow, right? And you don't want to go to the bank and impact your credit. Um, there are organizations out there, there are companies out there, property management companies like mine, um, that would um, fund the cost of maintenance and repairs um, so you don't have to go to the bank to get those funds and then we can get the work done and you just pay that those funds back through um, the rent payment so what i would say to you is look for jv partnerships right if you're not currently if you don't currently have a jv partner um, opp is the name of the game when it comes to real estate right opp through banks is normally how you go but sometimes that can be too expensive and sometimes um, it's going to hit your credit and maybe you get declined but when you have a jv partner you can always get that source of funds and um, we are one of those companies that are um, partnering with um, rental property owners so if you're interested in identifying um, if you can benefit from a jv partnership with us give us a call um, I'm always available, R. Charles at PMIJCMRealty.com. And you can also reach me at 813-333-9617. Um, <clears throat> now, to wrap this up, if you're looking for some quick and easy ways to increase the value of your rental property without breaking the bank entirely, these few simple hacks can help. We recommend working with a rental property management professional to help you implement all of these budget-friendly secrets to the rental property value contact us to explore what else we can help with on a budget and like i just said um, we can help by being your you know jv joint venture partner that can provide funds to do all of these repairs so don't hesitate to reach out to us and you can also uh, contact us through this through the links in this article as well um, we continue to explore the rental property investment trends in the tampa market if this roi center topic sparks your interest to learn more sign up for our free webinar where we're going to talk about this and we're going to talk about um, how to guarantee your rent even if the tenant doesn't pay we're going to talk about how to get all maintenance work paid for, even beyond um, our joint venture partnership, even if the tenant doesn't have a, um, a security deposit on file. Um, we show you a great deal of ways to manage your properties in an asset management perspective that really um, put you in a position so that you are very successful as a rental property owner and you're not losing money. And so we want to make sure that you understand how to, you know, maximize your growth and streamline all your processes. So definitely um, join us for our webinar. You can also find out on you can also find out ongoing answers to your most pressing questions by joining our Facebook group, 
to connect with other rental property owners that are like-minded and they're trying to achieve the same goals that you are. It, you can exchange fresh ideas and discover um, shared processes, challenges with other rental property owners. And should you have a unique or specific question that needs more in-depth, in-depth, tailored solutions, schedule a meeting on my calendar. We'll be more than happy to sit down and talk with you. I mean, we do have a lot of resources available to you. Um, the content um, is definitely worth um, reading. Um, and if you have any questions, definitely reach out to us. Again, uh, my name is Roland Charles, PMI JCM Realty Group. Until next time, talk to you soon. Bye.